to put these two semicircles together. If you don't use your brain, you will find that they don't fit together at the top. So what if you first put the top part together? At this point, the spiral pattern still cannot be joined. And it depends on whether the child has practiced reverse thinking at home. Using their imagination to slide the ring on the right over the ring on the left and then rotate it. Forming one circle. This is called left and right struggle. The game involves removing the middle iron ring. And if you don't use your brain, you will be stopped when you slide it along the track to the end. How do you trim it? It tests our logic skills greatly. Let me demonstrate once. Use the middle iron ring to go through the hole on the right side. Then flip it 90 degrees and enter the right ring. Pick up the iron ring and rotate it clockwise around the column 180 degrees to successfully separate it. This is called the golden cicada sheds its shell. The gameplay is to remove the U-shaped ring. Many people, when they play with it, will keep walking along its spring track until they reach the end. You will find it stuck and unable to be removed. Can you see its way out? It puts great emphasis on our reverse thinking and observation skills. Go back to the starting point and don't take the usual path. Pass straight through the middle and then rotate the spring clockwise to reach the middle pillar. Cross over, rotate counterclockwise, and remove the U-shaped ring. By not using brute force to undo the clasp. Not only can children's intelligence be developed, but it is also a form of exercise for reverse thinking. There are 24 different solutions, and each one is unique. It can cultivate children's love for using their brains and develop good habits for problem solving.